Hi, it's me again. And when it comes to the fight over the TV license fee and getting it scrapped, at the minute there are a few big players, really, aren't there? There's Defund the BBC, who personally I don't trust, but you're allowed your own thoughts on that. You know, we've got Silver Voices with the man, the myth, the legend, Dennis Reed, friend of the channel. Quite like the guy. He's putting out a really good fight over the TV license. Slightly focused on the oldies, the OAP's TV licenses getting reinstated as free. But, you know, he gets interviewed by all the papers, he gets in the papers, he gets press, he gets coverage, and that gets clicks and that gets more people into the fight, so it's great. And the other one that's really stuck their head above the parapet lately is the Taxpayers Alliance. They are all over it with the TV license fee. Always in the paper. Every time I see, like, um, a TV license fee article in The Express or something, he's always got a comment by some spokesperson from the Taxpayers Alliance. And it's great. I want to see more organisations and more people come out come out fighting. I mean, I'm in the game and there's a few other YouTubers in there. You've got the Smug One and Mr. H's Hot Pot and there's a few others. But we can't get the kind of coverage that these people can with their PR agencies and stuff, can we? But anyway, enough of that. Have a look at this. Because I was on Taxpayers Alliance because I was just catching up with what they're doing with the TV licence fee. And they put this article out. Have a look at this. Five of the strangest taxes in history. I think you can guess where, where this is going, can't you? But let's read on. Uh, number one was a urine tax. Number two, window tax. Number three, hat tax. There's another example of a Georgian era tax clearly designed with progressive attention. This was first introduced in 78 under Pitt the Younger. A hat tax. Who knew? Number four, scuttage, scutage. The medieval tax paid by the knight to his lord in lieu of military service. No. Number five, the gin tax. Now, I can't possibly agree with something called the gin tax. How dare they? Although, to be fair, what is it? It's like 70% of a bottle of gin or something, isn't it? It's tax. Now, madness. Madness. But anyway, the whole point that we're here for is the final one, honorary mention, the TV tax. <laughs> I'm starting to like Taxpayers Alliance, you know. The TV tax, or BBC licence fee, was first introduced in June 1946 at a cost of only £2. In 1946, the BBC was the only broadcaster in the UK, and so it was not unreasonable for a compulsory licence fee to exist in return to access BBC content. But the licence fee is not fit for the 21st century. With drastic technological change and the myriad ways in which people watch the media, the current model is now outdated. So in January 2020, we launched our Axe the Tax campaign to scrap the BBC licence fee. His timeless tax was also consigned to the history books. Bloody well said, Taxpayers Alliance. I like that. That's really well put. And I found this. Where did I find this? I think I got it on a Google alert. And I also found the link to this from an, an online newspaper. So it's out there. And it is getting it is getting coverage. Let's have a look at this Axe the Tax campaign they've got going on quickly while we're talking about them. So yeah, their Axe the Tax campaign. I'm just reading it now. But it goes on a little bit. So I'll tell you what, I'll put a link to the description to this page so you can go and have a look. Quite interesting. And they've got a few videos. I didn't know they were making YouTube videos now. I'm so busy making my own, I don't get a chance to watch anything on YouTube anymore. But they've got a YouTube channel. I'm going to watch a few of these. And um, I'll put a link to their YouTube channel below as well. Make sure you go and subscribe because it looks like they're putting out some pretty good stuff about the telly license. Looks like there's some all right stuff there and other taxes as well. So I'm subscribed now. And uh, maybe you'll want to go over, want to go over and subscribe to them as well. But it is nice to have new names coming into this fight and new names that can get bigger coverage than I can. Like I said, the newspapers don't want to talk to me. I'm not in it for the famous. Why well, don't use my own name and everything. I'm not trying to get, you know, a public persona like that Calvin from Defund the BBC who's all over GB News and other outlets talking about other stuff that's got nothing to do with the telly license. That's not what I'm in the fight for. You know, once the TV license goes, so will this channel more than likely because no one's going to be watching me talk about other rubbish, are they? That's the only reason I'm in the game, and that's why I use a fake name for it as well, because I don't want my real name out there. I'm not after all of that. I'm not interested. But because of that, the newspapers don't want to talk to me. I can't get the coverage. People like Taxpayers Alliance, people like Defund the BBC can get the coverage and bring new people into the fight and educate them that they don't need a TV licence, and it's, it's great to see. So let me know what you think about this, you know, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you, I guess, in another video again soon. Hopefully, anyway. Ta-da.